So hello, so who are you? My name is Travis Siegfried, I'm with IBM, and here I'm going to show you what we're doing with ingestion of data through um, this scenario is a worker in an environment with a, fitted with a smart helmet, accelerometer, temperature sound, and VOC for oxygen sensor. And we're gonna hit this over the head. It actually goes out via low power LoRa technology, wireless, uh, out to the internet to the IBM IoT cloud, and the data is ingested, calculated, and displayed on this dashboard. Yeah. Ouch. See the impact. The risk is very high, and George uh, now has uh, an impact coming in here. So it shows the trajectory, x, y, z axis, and the bump index. It's all calculated. Whoa. What's in there? We've got an accelerometer fitted in here with uh, sound for decibels on the back here, um, temperature, and uh, the oxygen sensor, all embedded with Multitex M dot connector, connecting wirelessly up to 10 miles. Uh, 10 miles. 10 mile How? range. How does that work? Low power. Uh, LoRa. Is it LoRa? Technology, long range, active. Uh, wireless technology. LoRa is going to be huge, right? Yes. Wire, uh, Who's LoRa working on LoRa? Good in the, uh, we're part of the consortium IBM is, but LoRa is very uh, useful in the industrial sector. So where we have mining and, and things where we need to go underground or, or thick walls like in an elevator shaft, all these technologies can be used very easily. Isn't it useful for all of IoT? Is it going to be huge? Uh, LoRa could be extremely huge for all of IoT, but the, the important part is that I, IBM's IoT Foundation, where we can ingest all of these multiple hundreds of thousands of devices and sensors you into call it and, and calculate uh, actually what's happening in an intelligent way. So we're providing intelligence to uh, the workforce. So you call it I, IoT Foundation? Yes, the, that's the IoT IBM's cloud? platform that we utilize to ingest Internet of Things devices and sensors. All right, so uh, what's, what's going on here? Uh, this is some of the pricing that we have for the Internet of Things Foundation. It's actually free to use up to 20 devices. Uh, and then it starts out uh, for $20 uh, per month for the bronze, 100 devices, and then silver and gold. And each of the devices can do uh, 100 megabytes of data and one gigabyte of storage. That's correct, for free. All right. So uh, is this launched? Uh, yeah, this is a product available today. You can actually go out to IBM.com slash IoT and start using it right now. You call it the Blue uh, also, right? Is it Blue? Uh, we utilize Bluemix and it has all the different... Uh, uh, that's our, our platform that it's on top of and easily accessible to get started. This is where all the IoT apps go? Uh, all of the different boilerplates, apps, services, yes, they're all there and easily connectable. Uh, you just go out grab your free account on Bluemix and get started. So what are people saying about it so far? Um, people are using it and, and they actually really like it because it's easy to use. You can start very quickly, get ramped up for one, two, three people, as well as it's extremely scalable. We have many, many people ingesting data and devices too. That's so the cool thing about it. The IoT starter kit you had, right, is, is being launched and That's lots of people are using it? That's earlier in the year, yes, and folks are giving that a try as well. Um, the new the new piece of this is we're utilizing and embedding uh, ARM embed technology, so we're u using and developing on the embed.org compiler, and that's what we've done here. All right. What do you think about the new announcements here? Uh, the security and the, the V8-M, there's going to be lots of more oh stuff happening gosh. with IoT, there's right? There's a lot of things to come with IoT for sure, and, and we've got a lot more a lot more to show for sure. So, so lots, lots more, to, lots more demos coming out. Many, many more. This is one of the the few that uh, one of many that will to be to come. For sure.